Opminus is a film about a boy who suddenly sees all of the options of his life in front of him and has to decide which person he wants to be. Atmanis is a kind of compound word that's from Atman meaning selves and us being just a suffix making it many selves. I, I like to go on road trips. I like to kind of drive, which is what I'm doing right now. And there was one that I was doing right after undergrad where I stopped in the, the Smokies in um, Tennessee and I was camping by myself and it was really a unique experience for me. I don't usually camp by myself. I, I love camping and that was the first time and it just, it created the mood of this film. And that was like the first thing that I felt was like this deep like strangeness to the air. And so everything kind of spawned from there and I started writing that day at the camp by myself. And um, that's where the story came from. I like films that evoke a mood and that leave you with that mood afterwards. And I hope that, that viewers can watch this film and, and leave but still be in that world. Thank you. Well, look, if you guys need something to eat, we have, we have a camp only a few minutes away. I can heat up some soup if you like. Yes, please. That would be great. Your son doesn't seem to like us much. I think it's because you look familiar. Me? Like his mother, younger, but really close. I think it freaked him out a little bit. Well, I hadn't meant to freak him out. I get that a lot, looking like someone. Don't I, Lynn? So you guys said you came up from south? Outside of Roanoke. We checked for a while. This is our third day on the trail. Do you expect to be coming up this far? Sorry? Well, it's just that you have no bags. Where are you guys heading? Not anywhere specific. Just going, really. We figured we'd always find some nice people like you out here this time of year.
Do you have any salt? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. I'm done. So I'm your mom. What? Your dad told me I look like your mom. Is that why you don't like me? He's not my dad. Oh. I'm sorry for assuming. Hey. Greg said we could spend the night. He's got some extra sleeping bags. Sound good? Perfect. What should we call it? What are you doing here? What do you mean? Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. It's a pretty good question, Nate. Why don't you know? Well, because we think that's okay. Who we were before, it wasn't working. So, we're gonna find a new home for a while. You're homeless? For now, yeah. It's a matter of not being tied down, Nate. I'm not tied down. You are a little bit, but you're young. It's expected. Right there. Give me five. Take your time, it's beautiful up here. It really is. Thank you, Nate. Ready to start packing? How did you get there? Get where? Seriously, don't do that. Do what? Don't sneak up on me. I didn't sneak up on you. At least I can get along with people. You're telling me I don't get along with people? Yep. All right. Those two people here yesterday were cowards. They took their stuff and left their homes. I get along with people just fine. 
Do you even like me? Seriously? Yes, I like you. You're only here because my mom made you. Oh, come on. I heard you two talking. That's not true. Knock it You're off. You're only here so you can fuck my mom. What the hell? Nate, what is your problem? Huh? Nate. I can't, I can't believe I, I, I'm with another brat. I'm stuck with another brat. Nate. Nate! I'll go, but you're coming with. No, this is for the two of you. I don't even know the kid that well yet. That's exactly the point, Greg. Why won't you do this for me? That's not it. I just think it's too soon. Hey, son. How are you feeling? You were in some state this morning. Poor boy. Lynn is getting you some water. He'll be back. Where am I? You know where, Nate. We walked past it yesterday. You still have to name it. I'll leave that to you. How did you find me? You found us. And there's Lynn. We were really happy to see you, Nate. To be honest, I lost hope you'd come to your senses. Anna didn't, but... I did. Oh, all right, all right. Not too much. Greg and I had a fight. I believe it. Greg, he seemed like a fine guy and all, but he wasn't family. He doesn't understand a thing about you. He's with my mom. You don't have to worry about any of that anymore. You're not my parents. I know 
it may not seem right at first. I understand that. And I'm so sorry I've been away. But with time, Nate, I think you'll come around to seeing me as your father. I need to find Grant. We're deep in the woods. I don't think we could find him even if we tried. Let's find some food. How does that sound? I'm starving. I know the way back. Nate, your ankle, you sprained it pretty bad. Here, come inside and rest. I'll try to clean up a bit. Let me help you up. Hey! Greg? He can't see us. Why can't he see us? Come inside, Nate. Come on, Nate. Listen, listen to me, okay? I would never let anything happen to you, okay? All right. Can we go home now? Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Well, I've got a good one. Why don't we call it our axis? Why? I don't know. Maybe our home will take us in a new direction. I think I'll think of a better one. <laughs>
I had a friend who whose family owns a cabin in the woods and um, we went up there and I was very fortunate enough to get permission to, to shoot there and they have about 40 acres. Um, and we took two weekends, brought all the crew up, which was about 20 of us, um, and we camped out and we shot a film. Since it was so small budget, we didn't really have the uh, ability to like, you know, delay a day. So if it rained, we were screwed. And uh, w there was a day where it just rained all day and it was just like this constant rain. And uh, it definitely shows up in the film, but we were on as many weather apps as we could to see like, oh, it's gonna slow down in 15 minutes, let's shoot then. And uh, we have some behind, behind the scenes photos of like, you see the crew just drenched. You see everyone totally wet. It was just a huge blast because we were all very much a family. It, it felt very family oriented because there was no going away after work. It was, you were there, you know, you were there to make the film and um, it changes the morale, it changes everything.